In this video, we're going to decide if two functions are inverses of each other, or functions where one undoes the operations of the other. The way we can test if two functions are inverses is we calculate the composition f of g of x. Compose the functions together, and hopefully the answer will turn out to be x. In other words, whatever happened to g is undone in f, so that we're back to the same x that we started with. That's what we're testing. So let's see if that works. We've got f on the outside here with g of x inside it. Well, g is this entire fraction, x cubed minus 4 over 3. And so all of that is what we're going to plug into the f function. So here's f. We're going to replace the x with this big, ugly fraction. So f was the cube root of 3x, which is now x cubed minus 4 over 3. And we're going to add 4 to that. Hopefully, this is equal to x. Let's see what we can do to simplify it. One thing I notice is inside the brackets, I mean, under the radical, that 3 is 3 over 1, and since this is 3 times and 1 times, these 3's are factors. So we can divide out those factors. So we now have the cube root of x cubed minus 4 plus 4, which is also nice, because when we combine like terms, minus 4 plus 4 is 0 leaving us with just the cube root of x cubed, which is also nice because cube and cube root are inverse operations, and all we're left with is just x. This tells us that whatever g of x did, f of x undid, took us back to the original position of x. That means, yes, these functions are inverses. One undoes the other. Let's test another two functions and decide, are they inverses, using this exact same test. We have f of x equals 2x plus 5, and g of x equals x over 2 minus 5. And they sure seem like inverses, 2 times x, so we're dividing by 2, and instead of adding 5, we're subtracting 5. But the only way to know for sure if they are inverses is to calculate that composition, f, of g of x. So let's see if we can do that. Calculate f of g of x. Delete it on me. Wrong button. g of x, that's this x over 2 minus 5. So that's what's going inside the f function, this x over 2 minus 5. So we plug all of that in for f, in 2f, for the x. Remember, as we make this substitution, it's very important that we put it in parentheses, 2x, which is now x over 2 minus 5, plus 5. Notice the x being replaced with x over 2 minus 5 when in parentheses. Very important. Now, to start simplifying, we can distribute through parentheses. When we distribute 2x over 2, the 2's will divide out, leaving just the x. 2 times negative 5 is negative 10, plus 5. And now, when we combine like terms, we get x minus 5. Not just x. In other words, when we plug g into f, we don't have everything undone. We end up with 5 less than we had started with. That's not an inverse. An inverse takes you back where you started. It doesn't take you back where you started and then an extra 5 feet back. So because there's that extra minus 5 on there, we say, no, these functions actually are not inverses. So the way we decide if functions are inverses, we calculate that f of g of x, if the answer is just x, yes, they are inverses. If the answer is something different, like x minus 5, then no, they are not inverses.